What is happening? My name's Seven, and welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today, we have a awesome farming method for you guys, and you're going to be able to make loads of money. As proof, I have 466,000 on me at current. And in the Dreamlight menu under Collection, as proof, I've earned 1.8 million so far. As we enter the valley, you can see here, this is my plot, and it is 500 sections big. If you're just starting the game, you want to be doing this to a smaller degree, maybe start with an area probably around the size of the area I'm running in right now and you want to fill it with carrots. These will finish every 15 minutes. You can get carrot seeds from Goofy's first stall which can be found right here in Peaceful Meadows depending on where you place it. If you haven't moved it it will be in its normal location just over there but you can buy seeds here and all you need to do is buy them and water them. Now once you've done this many times you can start to scale your farm and this right here is okra. This is a crazy plan and it will yield a lot of cash. First things first, throughout all the time farming, you want to pick yourself one friend in the world of Dreamlight Valley and you want to level them to level 10 under gardening. I personally chose Mickey Mouse. He's now level 10 on gardening and it will mean he gives us bonus crops when harvesting. If we head off down this way to the right hand side, you are going to go down here and you're going to need a few thousand Dreamlight. You're going to need around 3,000 I believe to be particular and you're gonna head down here now You're gonna find another stall of goofies and this is where you're gonna find okra seeds And you can find it here in the glade of trust Which is in the bottom left hand corner of the map So a short walk down from our home now a few tips and tricks the reason that we are going to be buying these is because they yield the biggest return now they take two hours to fully grow and you can buy them from here in bulk you can either buy one or 99 at a time a few things to know as you level up in the game you do earn higher energy levels so you can do more in a short period of time without having to reset but if you do have to reset the quickest way to do this is to simply go in and out of your house this will refill your bar entirely make sure that you spend some of your gold on expanding your backpack while you're also so expanding your farm otherwise you won't be able to hold the crops that you pick up if you look for this white fencing or any fencing that is around in the edit mode you can actually collect this and bring it into your inventory so you can pick up these particular items and build fences anywhere in the game that you wish however you want to make a little pen about the size of this area here and you want to get your little companion once they are buddied up with you and following you to step inside you can do this a few different ways you can either just walk in a distance and then build around them or you can push them in just like this by walking into them and they you go. Now I've got Mickey trapped in there. I want to lock this in and that is simply done by dragging this over like that and this will make farming so much easier for you just afterwards. So let's do a speed run of me farming all of these 500 and let's see how much they sell for. As you can see he is also leveling up still. He's getting XP however obviously he has hit the maximum of 10 so at this time he can't earn any more. If you do get one of these spots here you can also spam the harvest on this and you'll just earn some extra ones that aren't on the pitch. These are also little bonuses that can be fired out as well by the game. Not just the little collectible spots but you can also get some extras that way. Make sure that you collect them. My inventory is now full and I haven't even finished collecting everything so I'm going to sell this, go back and we're going to then collect the bonus ones and I advise you guys doing this especially if you have a large farm. So this is 1,700 okra that has just been farmed and it's going to sell for 193,800. Now that I've collected all of the seeds that's 500 and that is insane. We can also now go around and we have nine of these wonderful puzzle memory collectibles. These could either be coins just like this or it could be an actual memory for the collection like this particular one for Beauty and the Beast. As we are farming our buddy would normally fire out bonuses. Now this is super important. The reason we've locked them in here is at current we can do this and at the end of farming they will fire out all of the bonuses. Now if something is glowing blue we can pick it up. However, if I went into my home or if I teleported out of here through the castle, our buddy would be broken and they wouldn't drop the bonus. Another thing to note is that if you can't fit everything that they drop into your inventory and you walk over it, it will get rid of the blue glow, meaning you will have to pick it up one by one by hand. So make sure you have enough inventory space before you do exactly what I'm about to do. Now go back into the edit menu and you want to take away one of the fence panels to let your friend out. When doing so, they will fire a big bright light and cover the edges of your patch with lots of bonus which we'll see right there 
and now I want to be able to go around and I'll be able to pick all these bonuses up and this is only because he is level 10. With all bonuses that entire 500 crop area gave me 2,463 aqua returned that I could then sell and the bonuses are going to be selling for 75,500. We're now at a grand total of 736,081. Now that I've completed this process I can then go buy more of the seeds and repeat this every two hours. Something that I like to do as well just for the speeding up of things I moved the fountain in editing mode closer to the stall so I can just teleport wherever I am straight to the stall to then go rebuy the seeds because my patch is 500 large it is going to take quite a lot to be able to remake that entire field that I just had approximately it's going to take about 66,500 gold every two hours this field yields me over 202,800 gold in profit so the math applies if you were to be crazy enough to double up the size of this you'd be making over 400,000 every two hours 100,000 per hour is still an incredible pace to be earning gold in this game considering you do a lot of the upgrades for under under 100,000 gold. So guys, I'm gonna fill out this entire patch and I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna have to water them and I'm going to be going inside of my house to be able to keep on getting the energy bar refilled every time it is emptied. Another good uh, little tip here as well at the end is if you want to and you haven't already got yourself all of the characters leveled up, well, you can switch the character to somebody else instead of it being Mickey or whoever you are partnered up with gardening. If they're maxed out at level 10 gardening, go pick a different character and this process of planting is a great way to help them level a little bit quicker. I've nearly got Kristoff to level 10 and at this stage because I've already got a max gardener it is really handy to level somebody else up and the stage that you want to be doing that is using them during the stage of planting the plants again. Even though it is raining I will still have to water these plants because the rain does not do the same to these plants as what my magic watering can will do. The magic watering can will help it go all the way to its completion over two hours whereas the rain will only last for about an hour or so and you'll have to re water them so make sure even after planting them during rain you water them still yourself it should still allow you to do that and there you go we've got him level 10 fantastic we unlocked a slayer 